This video explains how to add, improve, update, and otherwise fix image alternative text using the Fix Image Alt Text Wizard in Brickfield. If you have not already done so, it is recommended that you watch the introductory videos, including what is the Brickfield Accessibility Plus Toolkit and getting started with Brickfield before you watch our videos about using the wizards. First, let's talk about alt text. WebAIM defines alt text as a textual substitute for non-text content. Here, we're focusing on alt text for images. Alt text exists in the background coding of a digital document. At the top of your screen, you can see a graphic representing an image, and below the graphic is some HTML coding that includes the alt text. Alt text serves three purposes. Screen reading software reads the alt text when it encounters an image. This helps users. This enables those who cannot visually perceive the image to access the information contained in the picture. Second, search engines like Google or Safari can include alt text in their search to help them identify relevant pages to suggest. And if an image fails to load, the browser usually presents the alt text in place of an image, which helps anyone viewing the screen. What should you write for alt text? Let's consider this image. Which of the following would you consider to be the best alt text for this image? An American astronaut on the moon with an American flag behind them, an astronaut standing on the surface of the moon with boot prints and the fine dust around their feet, an astronaut on a flat area on the surface of the moon with hilly terrain behind them, astronaut on the moon.jpg, Maybe you think the image doesn't need alt text. Or maybe you think, I need more information to decide. If you selected F, that you need more information to decide, you're on the right track. We have to know the context and purpose of an image to know the correct alt text. The only one I'd say is never going to be right is D, which is the name of the image file. That will not provide any useful information to anyone. So we've decided we need more information and that the image file name is not correct. We have four choices left to choose from once we have some information. So let's imagine that this image appears in a lesson about how inspiring moments in American history have had a unifying effect on the country and the 1969 event in which a NASA astronaut walked on the moon is discussed. Which alt text is now appropriate? We might say that the one that reads, an American astronaut on the moon with an American flag behind them is the best descriptor in this context. If the lesson is about the type of terrain or the nature of the surface of the moon, B or C might be more appropriate, as each, men as each mentions something about the features of the moon. Is D ever appropriate? Might an image not need alt text? Actually, yes, if a person viewing a page without the image at all would not miss out on any content, then the image might not need alt text. This might be because the image is purely a decoration, or it might be because the content of the image, the information provided in it, is fully described by the text. In either of these, in either of these cases, one can mark the image as decorative or as an artifact or put double quotes as the alt text. In any of these cases, a screen reader would ignore the image entirely. Note that it's not important to say image of or picture of in your alt text. The screen reader will automatically announce that it's an image. You might want to say something to describe the type of image if it's relevant, like screenshot of, or child's drawing of, or computer rendered image of. Now that we know a little bit more about alt text, let's look at the Fix Image Alt Text Wizard in Brickfield. Let's open our Brickfield Accessibility Plus Toolkit, click Go to Wizards, and find the Fix Image Alt Text tab. My Fix Image Alt Text Wizard is showing me two images in my course that need fixes to their alt text. The check that failed on the first one is a check that makes sure that you have not used the image file name as the alt text. And the check that failed on the second image's alt text is one that makes sure that you have not used a placeholder text like image as your alt text. Brickfield will also alert you if an image is missing alt text altogether. Now note that if you do have alt text that is not the file name or placeholder text, Brickfield can't check the appropriateness of an alt text tag. This is one of the limitations of Brickfield in any automatic tool. It takes a human to ensure that the alt text is appropriate. 
This might be something you want to check manually as you proceed through your course. For now, we'll just check the ones that Brickfield can find. Because you must consider the context of the image to know what's appropriate, the wizard does not suggest alt text. Instead, it simply provides a place for you to enter the alt text that you want to use. And it offers some help by clicking on their, on their help icon for creating good image alt text. They recommend that the alt text be 125 characters or fewer, and that it be precise, informative, consistent, thorough, useful, relevant, and engaging using the mnemonic acronym of PICTURE. You can click Submit Bulk Fixing, and for every image that you have entered new alt text for, the alt text will be updated. If you have not entered anything, the error will continue to appear until you've updated the alt text. Now you may find that using the wizard to fix your alt text won't work for you because you want to see the image in context in order to write good alt text. For instance, I might want to know that this picture appears on a Moodle page that is entitled Climate Change and Flowering Shrubs to write alt text. In this situation, Brickfield has helped you find an error, but you can choose to manually fix it instead of using the wizard. You can see our video on manually fixing errors in order to manually fix images that you don't want to use the wizard for. One last thing to note. If you have a really complex image, maybe a large diagram showing many steps or a complicated graph, you may find that more than 125 characters are needed to describe this. In this example, an image of the life cycle of the coronavirus is shown. In this case, you might link to a long description of the image or figure. The text below this image serves as a caption that all students can read, and it says, an illustration of the life cycle of the coronavirus. A detailed description is linked. In this case, the image can be marked as decorative as the caption and the linked information ensure that all students can perceive the content in the image without a screen reader reading any alt text. This concludes our video on using the Fix Image Alt Text Wizard. See Learn Text Brickfield playlist for more videos on how to use this toolkit to improve the accessibility of your course.